So I think for now, the Zambians are more focused on uh, uh, having their expectations met by the new government. They are more um, uh, focused to see this new uh, president in office, this new political party, uh, which direction they are going to take. Um, they haven't yet started uh, looking towards the opposition to see whether or not uh, uh, this is, a, you know, the kind of, you know, organization we should undertake and for them to begin to speak to that. So if you've noticed some of us who have um, taken up, uh, as it were, you know, our binocracies to provide checks and balances, um, the mood in the Zambian people is that, no, 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 yes, binocracies are good, but uh, uh, you are being disruptive. We want uh, to hear, to to see the direction of these people because of the fact that we're still in that way for it. But very soon, mm. when they see that some of the things we're raising are actually true, mm. um, uh, and uh, that we are speaking, we are actually speaking for them, and we are providing objective checks and balances to make sure that their interests are protected, I can almost guarantee that, uh, I can almost guarantee that possibly in the next few uh, months, even my anchors this morning on breakfast show may be carrying the binocracies to make sure that we provide checks and balances together against this government. So does, does this mean you're going to put your, your binoculars down for a bit or maybe uh, put the revelations on hold for a while as Zambians do enjoy a bit of this euphoria? No, 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 no. The binocracy is basically, uh, as you can see, still on, uh, effectively so, zooming into state house and zooming everywhere uh, where we expect that decisions that affect the Zambian people are being made to make sure that the correct decisions are made. And when there are wrong decisions made or indeed wrong actions taken, we caution and uh, uh, demand that those uh, decisions either be corrected or be stopped. So uh, checks and balances will not wait for the mood in the country because fundamentally we have a government in place and that government needs to be uh, checked and we must speak on behalf of the Zambian people, including Zambians who are overly excited that they have lost track of what they need to do and that, and that is to see that uh, the government that is in place provides proper leadership and makes decisions that are taking them into prosperity other than taking them backwards. Well, speaking about these checks and balances, you also did mention that uh, you'll be driving towards that, uh, checking some of your members, the Patriotic Front members, that is, and some of the operations or activities that they'll be carrying out as the PF. Now, recently, we did get to see some uh, finger pointing or, or rather accusations from a uh, member of uh, parliament for material constituency in Mausa. But he did mention that the reason why the Patriotic Front did lose this election is because of some of the members of the party that took up specific positions. Now, would you say with this restructuring that has come, do you believe that uh, the patriotic front will bounce back if some individuals step down and others are chosen to boost the confidence from some of its members? Well, there is a process that is uh, going on right now uh, for your own information. It's called uh, uh, the, the Central Committee did appoint um, a, a, a committee uh, that is undertaking a post-mortem. Currently, into, have been selected to go into the provinces uh, where they are interacting with the structures of the party uh, to be able to hear their views on what could have gone wrong, but over and above the structures of the parties also to discuss with uh, uh, different stakeholders, including just the general, uh, uh, you know, population or the, the general members of the community in the respective areas that they have gone. As we as we let you go on a lighter note, uh, we're not sure if do, do you actually sleep with those binoculars, and is it possible to to leave them behind when you go to church, maybe for example? Wow, um, the. They play two roles. Uh, the binocracy uh, uh, is not only uh, for us to zoom in and see, but they are also symbolic of the fact that um, we are committed to our role uh, of providing checks and balances. I know that uh, somebody made a comment that why do you carry them in church? You know, the the what we are doing is a uh, a civic duty, which is equally an ordination uh, from God. 
uh, because I don't know there is a notion to think that uh, those of us who are playing politics um, are like we belong to a particular kingdom uh, that is uh, alien to, uh, to church. What we do in providing the service we render to our people, we're doing it, you know, as unto the Lord. And to that effect, going with a binoculars, which is basically a symbol of the fact that I've committed myself to provide checks and balances to this government, does not in any way take away the sacredness of the house, take away this reverence and, uh, that I accord to worship or to God. Uh, basically, uh, it was also in the spirit of the fact that pray for us as we undertake this role of providing checks and balances. And our mode is what we are presenting to you. So there's no, there was no need for us uh, to hide what we are doing when we are in church. Um, uh, and, and that was the spirit with which uh, I, I carry, or that's the spirit with which I carry the binoculars everywhere. Uh, just last weekend, or the other weekend actually, I happened to have gone for uh, my brother's uh, memorial uh, uh, in the village in Monze, and my father's, uh, what we call Mwesho in Tonga, in Bemba, I think they say, you know, Isambori Amfwa. So I had my binoculars around, and um, somebody joked, I hope you have not come to Zoom to see whether or not uh, we have already, you know, taken some of your father's belongings before any discussion, you know, that kind of uh, thing. But it's just symbolic to demonstrate to Zambian people that the role we are playing, who we'll play that role at night, who we'll play that role in the morning, who we'll play it at noon, who we'll play it in the evening, throughout who we'll be watching out for their interest as this government excuses duty and mandate that they gave them on the 12th of August.